you're thinking about making a move here to Temecula, California, watch this video. We're gonna talk about where you should be moving to, what part of the city is gonna be best for you and your family, and hopefully make, help you guys make the best decisions. So uh, watch this video and we'll get into it. Hey guys, hey, my name is Justin Short and I'm a realtor and team leader here at the Short Real Estate Team here at Signature Real Estate Group in Murrieta, California. So today, I wanted to take some time, want to make this video for you guys about the city of Temecula. So right now, uh, Temecula, Murrieta Valley has become a big, big relocation market. So we're seeing a lot of people make, make a move here from out of the area. So from San Diego, LA, Orange County, from Northern California, and even some people from out of state. So more people are working from home right now um, a lot of times you don't you are not limited any longer by having to make that commute out to out to the job and have to be within 30 minutes of that that working environment so that gives you some freedom about we're looking at different areas that you might actually want to make a move to so that has made Temecula and Murrieta super super desirable and we are seeing more than ever we're seeing more people make the move this way uh, to get more more for their money in a lot of cases so uh, let's go ahead and we'll get into the video. Uh, first, if you are liking the content, if you are liking these videos, we are putting them out once per week. Please go ahead and hit subscribe. So we're doing market updates. We're talking about differences between Temecula, Marietta, Menifee, pros and cons list, all that good stuff. Uh, please go ahead and hit subscribe and we'll keep the videos coming for you once per week. Um, and that helps me and helps the, helps the channel keep going. So, uh, so let's go ahead and talk about Temecula. So we're gonna break it up into four different areas. So first, we're gonna talk about wine country. So uh, Temecula, Temecula is just a general layout of kind of where the location is. So we are in South Riverside County. We're just north of the county line to San Diego County. So, but we are Riverside County. Um, any further south, you end up in San Diego. We're right off the 15 freeway. The next town south is Fallbrook. And then going north, the next town north is Marietta. So uh, Temecula and Marietta, they're both in South Riverside County. Definitely a little bit more of a suburbs type of feel for the most part. Um, people a lot of times will live here because it's more affordable than San Diego, LA, Orange County, but we're still in driving distance to pretty much everything in Southern California. So you're about 45 minutes to an hour from the beach, from the mountains, from the desert, uh, from the city, from all, all that good stuff. So uh, it's a growing area, super, super nice. And I, I've lived here for over 20 years. So hopefully I'm gonna give you good perspective on the area and some of the pros and cons. Um, so we're gonna talk about four different parts of Temecula. So the first one we're gonna talk about is wine country. So out in wine country, that's gonna be east of the 15 freeway and then you go out Rancho California Road and then further east out on the road. So really once you get past kind of the, the suburban feel, so some of the shopping centers and the uh, you know the stucco homes and all that good stuff, that becomes wine country. So the reason it's called wine country is because, well, there's a lot of wineries. So there's over 50 wineries out this way, um, but there are also homes out there as well. So what makes that area different is those are homes that are gonna be on large lots. So most of Temecula and most of the valley is a lot of track homes again i keep saying that kind of that suburbia feel out in wine country you're going to see these large parcels anywhere from two to four acres four is probably kind of about your average and then up to some of them are six eight ten twenty acre parcels that are out that way so pros and cons one if you like a larger lot if you're looking for any type of a horse property any type of livestock animals things like that or you just don't want to be next to your neighbors being out in wine country can be super desirable uh, the downside is just when you're buying that much land in California, it's expensive. So the average price point in wine country is north of a million dollars. Uh, there are a handful that are in the 700, 800, 900 range. Uh, so there's some manufactured homes that are gonna be less expensive than like a traditional than a traditional stick built home. So you have those things as well, um, but definitely higher price point out in wine country. Um, it's just a little bit farther out from everything. So when you live out there, it's probably what you like. If you were not really looking for that, you may stick more in town to some of the other parts that we're gonna talk about. So that's wine country. Uh, the next thing we're gonna talk about in Temecula is kind of the three other portions of Temecula, and we're just gonna call them, so South Temecula, we're gonna talk about Central Temecula, and then really North Temecula. So South Temecula tends to be the most desirable part of the city. So uh, it's the, as far as the track homes go especially, it's the highest price point. Um, the reason it's so desirable is because it's so far south. Remember we talked about we border uh, the San Diego County. 
So because we're so far south, a lot of people will live here and they do commute to San Diego. Um, and when you commute to San Diego, it, the more south you are, that cuts into your commute. So if you're in South Temecula, that's more desirable if you're commuting south, especially if you're commuting five days a week. Nowadays, we're kind of post COVID, almost post COVID. I don't know if that's the right word, but it's May, 2021. So people are getting vaccines and the world's getting back to normal. So less, but less people now are commuting to work than they were a year ago or two years ago, right? So a lot more people working from home or maybe they're only commuting two days a week, what, what have you. But if you are commuting five days a week, South Temecula is definitely desirable for that, just to be closer to the freeway, closer to San Diego. Um, the downside, it's a higher price point. So the highest price point in Temecula is South Temecula. They have very, very highly rated schools. And, and that's true for the entire city, but the highest rated schools are in South Temecula. The highest rated high school, which is Great Oak High School, is in South Temecula. We get a lot of people that will move here just for the high school because it, it's rated so highly and it has all these advanced classes for their kids to go there and then they move out of the area. So that's what makes that area so expensive, uh, the proximity to San Diego and then the super highly rated schools. So uh, the second part we're gonna talk about in Temecula is gonna be central Temecula. So we're gonna talk about that. That's gonna be north of Temecula Parkway. So if you're on coming off the freeway, one of the off ramps off the freeway is Temecula Parkway. Um, um, anything south of that would be South Temecula. Anything north of that is kind of what we're going to be talking about. So north of Temecula Parkway um, up to Rancho California Road. Pros is you're very central. You're very close to the freeway. You're very close to actually two different freeway off ramps. Uh, you are not far from the mall. You are not far from different shopping in South Temecula. And you are also not far from the wine country area. So which you know, obviously there's 50 wineries. There's a lot of you know, restaurants and foods and events and stuff out there. And then you're also also not far from the Old Town area in Temecula. So a lot of nightlife, a lot of bars, a lot of really nice restaurants, all that good stuff is there. So Central Temecula is super desirable for that. Um, and then we're gonna, and that is less expensive than South Temecula. So, and then North Temecula, so which we're gonna call north of Rancho California Road, uh, so between Rancho California Road and Winchester Road, uh, it's a little bit less expensive. Uh, you are right next to the mall. The, the, there, so there's some pros there. You're kind of on the border of the city of Marietta. So the cities tend to blend together very, very, uh, very, very closely there. So a lot of times you may not know if you're in Temecula or Marietta, they very much feel the same. There's really not a big difference. Um, Temecula does, again, still have those very highly rated schools. You are very close to the mall, is really in that North Temecula area. And you're close to that Winchester freeway off ramp so which are all going to be pluses uh, one of the downsides may be if you are commuting to san diego uh, you're farther north so although it's only two off ramps that you're farther north on rush hour that may be another 30 minutes in traffic each way so if you're making that commute each day that's going to be a, a priority for you is being more south if possible um, the more north you go the less price point price point so a little bit more affordable as you go a little bit more north but schools are super desirable across the board uh, there's a lot of shopping Comparing Temecula to the other surrounding cities, Temecula has the most industry, it has the most restaurants, has the most nightlife, has the most entertainment options. So you do have that more in Temecula. Um, but just know that's, that's one of the reasons Tem South Temecula is most desirable. Um, it's gonna be the it's highest price point, and that's gonna be because it's closest to San Diego, it has the highest rated schools. So. Hopefully that helps you guys out. Hopefully it helps give you a lay of the land in Temecula, kind of why different parts of the town are going to be more desirable than others. Um, if hopefully this content's helping you, uh, please go ahead and hit subscribe. We'll keep the videos coming. And if you have any questions for me or anything I can do to help, please feel free to reach out anytime. I'm having a lot of people lately that have reached out and con called and text us and uh, asked for additional information or help about making their move out this way. So glad to do that. We'd love spending time with you and uh, would help to any love to help any way we can. So thanks. Talk to you soon.